Campaign 2018 is sponsored by Wisconsin Hospital Association, Wisconsin Counties Association, Wisconsin Realtors Association, Marshfield Clinic Health System, and Campaign 2018 partner Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Great to see so many, so many friendly family faces. Thank you for being here. For our three members of your Wisconsin delegation and your next United States Senator, we are gonna kick things off with Congressman Glenn Grothman. Give it up for Congressman Grothman. It's uh, so glad to see such a big crowd here. It seems just like yesterday I was attending, uh, years ago when I was in the state legislature, attending events for press. And I know there are a lot of people here in the room who remember those days when Lear was a leader of education reform in the state of Wisconsin. I had to look. It was parents. Uh, 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 um, yeah, yeah, parents raising educational standards in our schools. And Lee was, a, that's how she first got involved in politics. Kind of as a mom who was dissatisfied with the performance of some of her schools. And who would know at that time that a few years later she'd be one of the leaders in Act 10, fundamentally changing and improving the way our schools work. Um, but not long after that, a few years after that, maybe Lee doesn't remember this, I remember meeting with Lee on a, on, uh, a restaurant on Mayfair Road. I can't remember if it was Perkins or, or Applebee's, one of those, Denny's maybe, uh, whatever, same thing. Uh, and it, it, I was with such, such, I was so happy to hear in a meeting that Lee was thinking about running for the state legislature and uh, going beyond being an, an activist uh, to, be, to being involved in the arena herself. Uh, from there on out, I was, she won which was tremendous, was a great ally of mine, and I should say I was an ally of hers in reforming schools of the state. Uh, we then saw her be part, when we needed her so badly, risk her state assembly seat to run for the state senate and take on a, what was considered an entrenched incumbent at the time, a state senator by the name of Sullivan, and we needed that seat so much not only to win that seat and set the stage for Act 10, uh, but we needed her vote and leadership behind the scenes as we made those fundamental reforms. And every step of the way, she has taken the hard route and not afraid to make the fundamental changes that we need in the state, which is why I'm so glad she's here today. Um, one of the things you don't know about Lee, of course, and I, I heard you know, somebody who was, I think, not voting for her, uh, or not pushing her, trying to comment that she was kind of a, a somebody with leadership. And a lot of times you don't know who the good legislators are from the bad legis legislators, because so much of the work is done behind the scenes. And one of the things I like about Leah Vukmir is, behind the scenes, she's not afraid to fight. And, you know, there are a lot of people who show up and just go with the flow and whatever, with all due regard to our wonderful friends in leadership, uh, go, go, <laughs> Go with the flow, but <laughs> when the doors are closed, and we all know we need a little bit more oomph kind of there in Washington sometime, I know when the doors are closed on the U.S. Senate, Leah Volkmeer is not going to be a doormat. She is going to make sure... She is going to make sure that Mitch McConnell and those Republican senators who have been around there for 30 years know how you feel, right? So uh, uh, I think another uh, person I was involved in politics right away when I got there in 94 uh, was a woman who represented the Isthmus in Madison by the name of Tammy Baldwin. Oh. And uh, 
I don't care what issue it is, whether you're talking about welfare reform, whether you're talking about over level of spending, whether you're talking about education reform, um, I guess I could say Tammy represents the Isthmus in Madison, but the state of Wisconsin is not the Isthmus in Madison, and that is why it is so important in this year that we fire up and all get prepared to do all we can to support the woman I'm endorsing for the U.S. Senate, Leah Bookmare. Thank you, Congressman Grofman. Give him a round of applause. Thank you, thank you. You can stay for a while, Glenn. We won't rush you off. Oh my goodness, thank you, Congressman. That was our surprise endorsement of the evening and I am so grateful for your support, Glenn. It means so much to me. Thank you, Wisconsin GOP, how are you? Thank you all back here, too. I'm, I'm kind of not used to this. This is something new for me. I've, I've been back there before, but this is a little different. I've been back there, I've been there, but boy, I'll tell you, I am incredibly honored to see all of you here today. It is a holiday weekend and people travel and yet you all are here on a Friday night. Boy, we are great Republicans, aren't we? Thank you so very much. Are you ready to take on Tammy Baldwin? Are you ready to win in November? Are you ready to win the top of the ticket all the way down in November. We've got this, because we are winners in Wisconsin. Thank you so very much. I am honored to be the endorsed candidate of the Wisconsin Republican Party. And I, and I am humbled by your support. I am humbled by the support of Speaker Ryan, Congressman Sensenbrenner, Congressman Grothman, Congressman Duffy could not be here, but we've got an amazing delegation. Thank you for your trust in me. It means so much, and thank you for being here. You have busy lives, you have families. God bless you, thank you, from the bottom of my heart. You know, I'm often asked by friends in other states who are in legislatures, they say, what in the world is in the water in Wisconsin? And I usually say, well, maybe it's the beer, not the water. <laughs> but think about it. They say, you have so many great leaders in your state. You have Governor Walker, or Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish. <laughs> you have Speaker Paul Ryan. You have the Dean of our delegation, Congressman Sensenbrenner, Congressman Grothman, Congressman Duffy, my colleagues in the legislature, and I want to thank my former travel mate, Senator Farrow, now County Executive Farrow, and I see Mike Kuglich here. and Representative Skaronsky is here, and Representative Katzma. People, you have elected us, and you have elected us to go to Madison, to go to Washington, to fight the good fight, and fight the good fight we have. But you know what? None of us can do what we do without you. So I tell my friends, it's a, we're galvanized because of what we have done here in Wisconsin, it has brought us together. And every single one of you has been there behind us. We can't do what we do without you. And we have never forgotten, those of us who stood in the Capitol when it was under siege, when we walked in and out through secret tunnelways that we didn't even know existed, <laughs> when we had tactical officers that were guarding us, our our deputy sheriffs from our counties were outside of our offices. When we had death threats, you were there for us. You fortified us, you stood with us, and most important of all, you prayed for us. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We have an amazing team. I don't have to tell you my story. You know my humble beginnings. Mom with a cause started just like every single one of you. Got off my couch one day because I was concerned about government involved in my life and picked up a 
phone at the local headquarters, picked up a bag of lit, went door to door. How many of you have done that? How many of you are ready to do that for August and November? That's what started it all for me. But that story is something that every single one of you in this room knows. And that's what makes us unique in Wisconsin. And think about what we have accomplished together as a team. We have pulled off an economic miracle. Think about it, 2011, we came into office. It was a 9.3% unemployment. What are we at now? 2.8%. Applause. We had a $3.6 billion budget deficit. What do we have now? Surplus. We balanced our budgets every two years. We have made Wisconsin great. It is an economic miracle. We've done it together as a team. And now it is time for us to take that Wisconsin way to Washington, where I think you could agree the House has been doing their work, but things have been falling a little short in the Senate. And so, my friends, we know part of the problem. That problem is Tammy Baldwin. It's time for her to go. It's time to send her back to the private sector that she doesn't even know exists. Tammy Baldwin, Tammy Baldwin doesn't represent our Wisconsin values. She doesn't represent our American values. She stands so far to the left that she makes Chuck Schumer look like a moderate, if that is possible. We laugh, but think about it. Tammy Baldwin signed on to Bernie Sanders' single-payer government-run health care plan. Even Chuck Schumer didn't sign on to that. Boy, I'll tell you one thing. This nurse is really looking forward to debating her on a stage. Free market health care, government run health care. Who do you think is going to win that debate, guys? <laughs> Tammy Baldwin. Tammy Baldwin doesn't think you deserve that extra $2,000 in your pocket. She voted against the tax cuts. Boo is right. Tammy Baldwin ignored a whistleblower report that told her, and only her, the only member of the Wisconsin delegation to receive a report from the Obama administration, that our veterans were in peril at the Toma VA, that a doctor was overprescribing opioids. Many of the residents are veterans who fight for and have fought for our liberties and freedoms, became addicted, and one veteran died. And now Tammy Baldwin has the nerve to run around the state and embrace the heroin and opioid addiction problem. This nurse and military mom is going to remind her every single day that she let our veterans down. And Tammy Baldwin has let our unborn down. We all know that. She doesn't stand for life. She avoided a vote on the floor of the Senate on the 20-week pain-capable bill, a ban on abortion after 20 weeks, the point at which a baby feels pain, a bill that my colleagues and I passed that ran through my Senate Health Committee that Governor Walker signed into law, and Tammy Baldwin was not on the floor of the Senate. 20 minutes later, she appears to take a vote on something else. She knows that Wisconsin values life, and she could not take that vote. We're going to remind her of that every single day. So my friends, now is the time to send a proven, consistent conservative to Washington. I am ready to go and stand for you. I am ready to stand for our Constitution. I am ready to stand for our Second Amendment rights, our First Amendment rights, and I am ready to stand for our military, and I am ready to stand for our unborn. Are you going to be there with me? I, I need your help. The stakes are high. The stakes are high. The problems in Washington are great. We cannot take a chance on the unknown. We need to send a proven, consistent conservative to join the ranks of our great delegation to give Senator Johnson a junior senator that truly will represent the state of Wisconsin. I'm here. I'm ready. I am asking you for your help. So thank you.
Thank you for being here today. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy lives. But now we are going to be asking you for some help. We are going to be asking you for more help. We need help all the way from August for that primary, August 14th, and that general election, which is on November 6th. I need your time. I need your talent. I need your gifts, and most of all, I need your prayers. Our entire team needs your prayers. Please sign up at leahwukmere.com. You can go into your local GOP headquarters, RPW headquarters. Are you ready? Are we going to win? Thank you for your support. And now I want to introduce the dean of our congressional delegation, who I'm thrilled to have as someone who has endorsed me, Congressman Jim Sensenrenner. Well, thank you very much, Leah. And to me, an endorsement of our Republican Party endorsed candidate was easy, but it was made easier because that candidate is Leah Volkmer. The choice of almost 73% of the delegates to the Republican Party of Wisconsin Convention. And you know, I kind of have a theory that we do best when the difference between our candidate and theirs is very sharp. And people aren't confused by muddling around in the middle. Uh, and when we do that, we win. Scott Walker has won, Ron Johnson has won, and Leah Vukmir will win in November. <laughs> but to get there, she needs support in the primary. And primaries in August, they're generally very low turnout affairs. And what all of us have got to do you know, is to get our friends to be sure to turn out and vote on August 14th, or early vote or absentee vote. The absentee ballots are available now, and the early voting will start in a couple of weeks. So tell people that this primary is important. This primary is important so that we can get the proper candidate to go and show how different Leah Volkmer and Tammy Baldwin are to show how different Republicans and Democrats are, and to show that Leah Volkmer will provide the best support for Ron Johnson in the Senate. Now, coming back a bit, you know, every year or so, you've got all of these rating organizations analyzing votes of the two senators and in a, a little different way, the 435 representatives. One of the things that we are number one on, unfortunately, is 98% of the time, Ron Johnson and Tammy Baldwin cancel out each other's vote. We need to send somebody to Washington that will supplement Ron Johnson's vote. And that's Leah Vukner. <laughs> The Democrat Party has moved to the left. You know, you've seen this, you know, on the mainstream media, if you can stand watching it. You've seen this in the statements that have been made. You know, some of them have even gone to the extent saying that we ought to abolish ICE so that there is no internal enforcement of our immigration laws. That shows how far they've gone. But Tammy's already been there. And we don't need to have someone who is that far left going around claiming to represent Wisconsin values. Tammy Baldwin represents Isthmus of Madison values. Those are not Wisconsin values, and that's why she needs to be replaced. Now, my main job is to introduce somebody who needs no introduction, and that's the Speaker of the House of Representatives. You know, let me say that I helped recruit him run, to run for Congress. Uh, I twisted his arm and helped him decide to run for speaker when he told everybody else no. <laughs> and I think that what Paul has done during his three years as speaker and being able to get votes passed over the greatest of difficulties shows that he is an American through and through and has got Wisconsin values. We're going to miss you, Paul, out in D.C. Uh, we're going to keep... <laughs> we're
we need your firm principles, uh, and we also need your ability to knock heads together when all else fails. <laughs> and believe me, Paul has had to do quite a bit of that. So, Paul, thank you very much for your service. Thank you for being active in this campaign, not only in endorsing Leah, but also raising a big bundle of money so that Nancy Pelosi gets sent to San Francisco rather than the speaker's chair. Paul. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Uh, uh, first off, it is great to see the parents of America's greatest governor here Reverend Walker, Pat Walker, it was great seeing you guys here. Thank you for being, thank you for being here. Um, there's just a few points I, I want to make and add to it. I'll pick up where Jim left off. Uh, as Speaker of the House, you see everything and everybody. You see how things do work or how things don't work. You see people in, in easy moments and in difficult moments in front of the cameras behind the scenes. There's basically two kinds of people in politics. Beers and doers. People who want to be somebody, have a title, be famous, be on TV. Vanity. And then there are the doers who actually do all the work. <laughs> the doers who actually roll up their sleeves, make the arguments, grind it out, and have the courage of their convictions. We know Leah Vukmir. Leah Vukmir is a doer. Leah Vukmir is the exact kind of person we want representing us in Wisconsin in the United States Senate. And so the reason I and Glenn and Jim and others choose Leah, just like the vast majority of Republican activists at our state party's convention, is because she has proven it to us, the citizens. Leah Vukmir, because of who she is and what she has done, has deserved our vote. She's earned our trust. She earned our support. The kind of person we want representing us is someone who shares our values. But someone who not only shares our values, but who's effective at, at, at advancing our values. We need an effective conservative in the United States Senate. And that's what Leah is. Look, I take a look at just Act 10. Look at what Leah and Kuglich and, and all these guys and Ken, look at what they did, Paul. Look at what they did for our state with our governor in 2010. They ran. And look at what they did. And look at where we are as a state now as a result of that. <laughs> but here's the key. She told us who she was and what she was going to do if she got elected. Then she got elected with these other men and women, and she did what she said she was going to do. <laughs> Go figure. That is the kind of person you want. So Leah Vukmir is proven. Leah Vukmir is effective. Leah Vukmir is us. Leah Vukmir shares our values. She knows exactly how to take these great values that made our country and our state so great and translate them into action and move them forward. And let me just add to the point. I've served with Tammy in my entire time. Uh, she and I came in in Congress together the same year, 1998. And you're right, Tammy represents the Isthmus of Madison. You hear all these stories these days about how the Democratic Party is moving far left. Tammy's been there all along. <laughs> she, she's from the left wing of the left wing of the Democratic Party. <laughs> I mean, they're doing, they're just, they're actually just advancing goofy ideas these days. Just, it's just crazy stuff. And that is exactly where Tammy is. And just to give you a sense from our perspective as the House, we passed over 800 bills in the House of Representatives this session since Donald Trump has become president. That is, we, we've done it all. That Obamacare bill, that passed the House. All these things we've done, regulatory reform, rebuilding the military, overhauling the veterans, moving people from welfare to work, saying that if you're an able-bodied person, you gotta work for these benefits if you wanna have these benefits, making sure that we overhaul the entire tax system. We have done all of this in the House. But of those 800 bills that we passed out of the House, about 550 of them are still stuck in the United States Senate. You know why? Because Chuck Schumer and Tammy Baldwin filibuster those bills. 
They impede, block that progress. We need more. We need another voice. We need someone who's not going to cancel out Ron Johnson's vote, but he's going to amplify Ron Johnson's vote. We've been fortunate that we've been able to pass things narrowly in the Senate. I mean, just think of these Supreme Court rulings we just got the last few months because of Neil Gorsuch. You can see how things are on the line. And in this country, we are at that proverbial fork road. And the agenda that we've been able to put in place over the last two years, guess what? That agenda is working <laughs> because Americans are working. Wages are up. Latino and African-American unemployment, the lowest we've ever seen. Our unemployment rate in Wisconsin is below 3%. People are going back to work. Companies are moving back to America. The military is being rebuilt. We are getting it right, and we're putting good judges on the bench all over the place. And it could all be undone if we don't win these elections. It could all be undone if Tammy Baldwin gets her way. So the stakes could not be any higher. And thank God we have Leah running for us, representing us for the United States Senate. <laughs> We have all known each other a long time. We've known Leah a long time. She started out as a grassroots activist, a mom who cared about her community, who took these ideas and went and fought for them at the grassroots level, then fought for them, went from being a nurse to being an assemblywoman, then a state senator. And now we need this proven effective conservative who speaks for us, who has proven to us that she knows how to get things done, that she knows how to hit the ground running, we need Leah Vukmir as our next U.S. Senator. Thank you very much. Let's get out there and win this thing, all right? Let's get out there and win this thing. Don't forget, it's April 14th. Primary elections, April 14th. Let's do it for Leah, all right? Leah, Leah. Campaign 2018 is sponsored by Wisconsin Hospital Association, Wisconsin Counties Association, Wisconsin Realtors Association, Marshfield Clinic Health System, and Campaign 2018 partner Milwaukee Journal Sentinel.